We know that all along, we've been fighting not one, but two pandemics. That's Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley delivering his State of the County address, saying Milwaukee is treating racial equity as a health issue, also highlighting efforts to get more people vaccinated against COVID-19 in the county's most vulnerable zip codes. And this morning, the county executive is here live in person. Yes, thank you so much Our for first me. time, well, actually our second time yeah. <laughs> yes. meeting. Yes, uh, apparently I met him a long time ago when we were both lads. He was a lad. Um, but such a pleasure to have you here in person. Um, and that is, we can thank the progress that we've made in fighting COVID-19. Yeah, we made a lot of progress. Um, the past two years has been definitely challenging for everyone, uh, whether you talk about Milwaukee County, across this state, across this nation. Uh, but, you know, we've wanted to use this challenge as an opportunity. So we were able to create like a COVID-19 dashboard to really focus on where's the disease spreading at, who is vaccinated, and how should we deploy our strategies in making sure we have a healthy community. And that was part of some of the things that you touched upon in the State of the County Address, mm -hmm. your accomplishments, and you really hit the ground running uh, sworn into office two months into the pandemic when we were just only beginning to realize the devastation mm -hmm. of this virus and the unequal treatments it was having on minority communities and the death rates. And so uh, one of the accomplishments that you highlight, as you talked about, is the COVID-19 dashboard, which Milwaukee County, your office, spearheaded and it's a national model now. It is a national model. We work with uh, Esri Technologies and they've been using this to create their own service line related to it. Uh, but we use that data and, and you know, with the partnership with the city of Milwaukee as well as the state of Wisconsin, we were able to create the, the zip code program where we focused on 10 of the most vulnerable zip codes uh, and got life-saving vaccines to those individuals working with uh, public schools or other community organizations. And the pop-up, the mobile clinics. The mobile making, clinics. Taking the vaccine and putting it where the people need it the most. Oh, absolutely. Even a healthy homes program. You know, you have a lot of individuals who are stuck at home and who can't, couldn't get who can, online. Who couldn't leave. So we wanted to make sure that we not only reached those individuals, but their caretakers and everyone who lived in that household to make sure that they were vaccinated. So that a very big accomplishment uh, for your office, for you in that position. Another uh, accomplishment that you highlighted is your work with um, the budget office reorganizing that to make sure that the money is getting and going to the services that are needed. Oh, absolutely. You know, for, for the longest of time, because of the, the financial situation, we would use our budget to, to really guide our strategy. But for the first time, we've had a strategic, we put in place a strategic plan in over 20 years, and we wanted to make sure that our strategy is actually driving our budget. So now our strategy director is going to be within the budget office, the performance and strategy and budget office to help guide how we invest our dollars in the community to move the county uh, forward for everyone. We want to make sure that county government works for everyone. And the pandemic still um, an umbrella over everything that so many of us, that all of us do. And you talked about changing the metrics. We have to evolve in how we gauge our success uh, or the presence of the virus in our community. And so that's, when you talk about marrying budget and strategy, that's one of the examples. That's exa it's exactly right. That's one of the examples. And, and, and we think about how we've responded as a county to, to this pandemic. It's about utilizing the data to drive our strategies. And we've seen how it worked during this pandemic. So how about we use this when it comes down to homelessness, when it comes down to transporting people, when it comes down to tackling the social determinants of health that, that so many people uh, you know, rely on. When we talk about housing, transportation, uh, upward mobility. And we're talking about saving jobs. lives. Oh, it's, all, it's always about saving lives and making sure that we are moving forward as a community because for generations, so many different pockets of, of Milwaukee County never received the investments they deserve. Finally, I want to talk about uh, Milwaukee County Transit because that is another big issue Absolutely. and also falls within the county executive's office. Looking at Milwaukee County Transit, realizing, and I think, again, the pandemic just showed so many vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and inequities. When the transit stopped or only five people were allowed on the bus, that affected households. Oh, it affected everyone. Um, it affected uh, you know, every school. It affected medical providers. It affected you know, people going to and from work. 
And so we are really excited about what we have been able to do with NCTS Next, making it more efficient for riders, making routes shorter faster, times, shorter more times, routes. Um, but also, you know, making sure that, you know, a smart fare box as well is going to be going online really soon to make sure that everyone, no matter how you're paying, whether that's by credit card, uh, by cash, that you're paying the lowest fare possible. County Executive, thank you so much. A pleasure for you to be here. And really, we just wanted to highlight and help people understand what the County Executive's office does. Um, you know, when you vote, this is what you're voting for. Oh, absolutely. Lo local governments matter. Yeah. And, you know, we're always going to be on the front lines, not only of the pandemic, but when it comes down to, to treating the, the root causes of the issues of this community. Okay. Got to go, I just have to say. He shared with me that I spoke to his high school class. <laughs> That's how far we, we go back. We go back. Hey, I appreciate right, you. Thank appreciate you. everything you do in the community. I appreciate you. More Wake Up After the Break.